On today's episode, I go through my top five favorite St. Patrick's Day drinks. Stay tuned. Now, I'm not sure where all you are from, but here in the Boston area, St. Patrick's Day is kind of a big deal. And because it's one of those holidays where it's perfectly acceptable to get just absolutely smashed, I figured this was a good opportunity to go over some creative drinks. All right, so we're gonna ease into this with a classic you see everywhere around this time, which is a green beer. I know, it's super basic, but really there's kind of nothing more comforting than like a nice beer out with friends. And the green just makes it kind of a, a nod to the holiday you're in. Making this couldn't be easier because all you really need is some green food coloring. Now I like to add a couple of drops to the side of the glass. This way, when you pour in your beer, and it should be a light beer by the way, but when you pour in the beer, it automatically mixes with the color. This way you don't have to go back in with a spoon and mess up your carbonation. The green beer. This is just, it's just beer. It's just beer that is green. It's pretty though. Well, on the topic of beer, there are a few that are more Irish and thus more in tune with this holiday than a Guinness. This dark beer with a signature frothy top is like a mainstay when you picture Irish pubs. So our next drink, which is aptly called the Baby Guinness, totally steals that look. Start by pouring coffee liqueur into a shot glass, leaving about the last inch empty. Then, using a knife or spoon to soften the flow of liquid, top it off with Irish cream. Since the cream is lighter than the coffee liqueur, it floats on top, giving the appearance of a big foaming head. It's like a wee baby Guinness. All right, this is like coffee and cream. It's gonna go well together, right? Oh, that's good. That's really good. This one is dangerously good, like cake. Like I would just, I would down these and have a problem later on. Those are good. So far, the baby Guinness is winning it for me. I love that drink. All right, so this next drink, I've either heard called the Irish flag shot or the Irish pride shot. And it is definitely the prettiest of the five. To make it, start by filling a third of a shot glass with creme de mint. It's basically just a liqueur that tastes like mint and it comes in clear and green. You want the green for this one. Next, using the same knife trick as before, slowly pour in the Irish cream to another third. Again, the lighter cream floats on top of the heavier creme de menthe. Finally, top the whole thing off with Grand Marnier. The finished result is this perfect little Irish flag shot. I love that separation of the densities of these liquids. Such a cool look. Now I heard that if you drink this slowly, uh, you're gonna get like each individual one. I don't want that. I kind of want to just drink it all together and see what it tastes like, because I know what all these taste like individually. Salut. It's good. So the creme de mint definitely takes the center stage, like it's a minty drink, but the Grand Marnier and the Irish cream uh, definitely like meld together and almost make like a creamsicle flavor on the back of your tongue. Also, it's really smooth, like it kind of coats your mouth a little bit. Um, it's like a really thick drink. Not bad, pretty good. All right, so that's three down. If you're still standing, I think it's time for some dessert. So this next one is an Irish coffee float, and it is amazing. It's also super simple. Just add around three ounces or so of Irish cream, then top it off with some strong coffee. Make sure you leave some room at the top though for the good stuff. Now all you need to do is top it off with a couple of scoops of chocolate ice cream. And maybe a little bit of chocolate syrup just to put a bow on the whole thing. This bad boy is decadent and dangerous. There's another one that's gonna be obviously delicious because like coffee has mostly replaced my blood at this point. Irish cream, this is Irish cream is delicious. And ice cream. Yeah, okay, we're, gonna, we're gonna work our way around this thing. Oh, hot damn. Yep. I'm gonna grab a spoon here. All right. Get all up in here and get all up in it. Oh, wow. My first sip mostly just had the Irish cream and the coffee in it, which is already good. Like, that's a good drink. But once the chocolate starts to mix in, oh, it's completely different. So the ice cream is like ice cream sweet, right? Like kind of front of your mouth, really tasty. But then you've got the, the bitterness of the coffee in the back. It's, it's really, really good. But I mean, again, coffee, good. Irish cream, good. 
Ice cream, good. Ooh, starting to feel these. <laughs> All right, let's bring this whole thing home with what I'm dubbing as the four leaf frappe. Mostly because the thing it really tastes like, I'm pretty sure has a copyright on. Now this wonderful concoction does require a blender to make. Start by adding three scoops of vanilla ice cream. Next, I add a quarter cup of heavy cream. You could also use milk if you want to, but the heavy cream is gonna give it a richer kind of taste and body. Now to make it boozy and green, I add a couple shots of that creme de menthe. Then I just blend to combine. Pour that green gold into a mug and top it off with some whipped cream, festive marshmallows, and sprinkles. And from here, it's just best of luck to you with stopping at just one. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is the one I've been waiting for. Look at that. It looks amazing. I got my straw. Let's see how this, see how this is. <laughs> Damn, that is good. This tastes exactly like a certain fast foods chain's green shake that they sell around this time of the year. Can't name any names, but it sounds like Rick Monald's. That is legitimately like like the shamrock shake sold at McDonald's. Uh, whatever, Let's see if they come at me. That is so good. So the, the mintiness from the, the creme de mint definitely comes through, but it's toned down by that vanilla ice cream. Legitimately, it, I, love, like, the, I love the shamrock shake. It tastes exactly like that. But you know, it'll mess you up. <laughs> Hot damn, that is good. That is dangerous. Wow, okay, all right. Okay, in order of my favorites, it would be this one, the coffee float, then the baby Guinness. Just sit here and drink this, this is really good. Honestly, the, the green beer and then the little Irish pride one. Just because I don't like that crazy mint forward taste, it's just never been a thing. Like this is delicious because it's really melded in. Um, the other one is just too minty for my taste. It's just not something I like. If you like mint, it'll be your bag, trust me. Damn though. Like, damn, this is good. Oh, and if you want to make this like non-alcoholic or kid-friendly or whatever, you can do the same recipe, but just add a little bit of like um, the, the concentrated uh, mint extract. It'll do the same thing and get to the exact same flavor without any of the uh, effects. And there you have it. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, why don't you hit me with some of that thumbs up love and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. I hope you have a happy, safe holiday. Drink responsibly, and as always, Keep leveling up, you.